So when it comes to debugging in the classroom, the absolute best thing you could do is to just be there with the student. If you could sit next to them, you don't even have to say much. Just ask them to talk through their code to you, to give them a chance to look through what they wrote and see if they can find any errors, see if they can catch any mistakes first. That's the best thing you can do. Just be there for them. But in a classroom full of students, that can be really difficult. So the other thing you can do is just give them a little bit of an anchor. You tell them, hey, I'd like you to look at maybe these four or five lines of code. And I'm going to do another lap around the room. I'm going to go help out some other students. I will come back to you. And when I do, if you don't have it figured out yet, we'll still work through this together. But you give them that time and they'll do something with it. Some phrases to keep in your back pocket when leading or coaching students. Uh, when they say, I don't know what to do, I'm stuck. Say, where are you stuck? At what point are you stuck? And then it, they walk you through the code. And at that point, you start to see things that maybe you may not have seen before. And another student will pop in and say, well, actually, this is where the error is. The other thing I would encourage you to do with your classroom culture is to really embrace mistakes and making sure that students know that it's okay to make mistakes. It's normal. It's part of computer science. The whole thing is making those mistakes, banging your head against the wall and figuring it out and feeling that just sense of complete satisfaction that you were able to accomplish something. One thing I really love about code.org for debugging is the ability to jump between blocks and text when it comes to code. Some students, especially if they have experience with code, kind of have an aversion to block mode. And I understand that it's where they started and they think they should be doing something more than that. But having the blocks can be really, really powerful for helping students understand the way the code is nested and the way code is built on each other. When they're writing loops, when they're writing um, if statements and things like that, being able to jump into that color coded block mode lets them see the actual structure of their code and it lets them see why they might be running into some logical errors. They can see, oh, I didn't close this loop properly or I included something in it that I shouldn't have.